YouTube, welcome back to a new video series on the channel. And uh, as you can see on my screen, this series is going to be us, me teaching you how to make the Pet Sim X uh, UI from start to finish. So this is going to be a uh, multi-part series. Um, this is the first one. And I think we should start off with the main HUD. I think that will only make sense. These items right here, this frame, we're gonna make that later. So we're gonna start it off with the uh, with these two currencies and uh, the rank thing right here. So I'm gonna try to make this as informative and helpful as possible while trying not to make this video too long. So yeah, to start off, we're going to make a new layer. So hit the new layer button. All right, next I'm gonna go right here to my rounded rectangle tool. Okay, if you don't see this, it might be a rectangle. I'm gonna click and hold and it should pop up this drop down uh, menu and you just wanna go for this one. All right, now um, up here, the radius, we're going to have to adjust this. I'm gonna try 55. This will, um, all right, that's pretty good. So we have our shape, double click on the icon of it. This will open up the color picker. I'm just gonna choose a white color. All right, perfect. Now we'll right click. Let's go into bundling options right here. And let's go for a stroke. The color, you can pick any color you want. You can just pick the same color if you want. And we're just gonna move it like that. I'll say two or three should be fine. You can do, I'm just gonna do two. Um, for the position, you can do inside or outside. Hold on, let me see. This should work fine. All right, so now let's make a new layer again. All right, and now click and hold, and we're gonna go for the ellipse tool. Okay. So we're just gonna go right here. You could put a ruler in the center right here and we're gonna click and hold all right that's what i'm doing and now i'm gonna hold shift and alt it's going to make a really nice circle for us like that okay and double click we're gonna pick on this color now we're gonna right click on the previous layer we're gonna go copy layer style because it has the stroke effect right click on the ellipse and we're gonna go paste layer style and i'm going to bundling options because I see this little small little effect. So in shadow, I think overlay colors of white, choke up and size down. So something like that. As you can see. Now let's add some text. Let's hit uh, T, make our color white. Just so gotta click right here, put a plus sign. Change the font to anything you want. It is up to you. I'm just gonna use this one right here. I think that looks great. Let me see if I can center this thing, okay. Our right, next, let's do this uh, progress bar. So it's actually pretty simple, but um, this one starts off sharp and it ends off round, so I'm gonna show you guys how we could achieve that same uh, same thing. So let's go for rounded rectangle again. This time radius, let's go for, I'll say five, make a new layer. Uh, for the fill, we're gonna turn fill off. So click on the box and click on the red slash. And for stroke, we're gonna turn stroke on. So hit the black box and let's change the color to black. Uh, the stroke width is at three. I think that should work. Maybe we try two, I guess. Right now we're just going to drag this. Uh, apparently five is still too high. Let's go for two. I'm just gonna drag like this. Okay. Let's get our shape. Here we go. The stroke width is too high. Let's go for one. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we gotta go for one. All right, you can also change the color if you want to a lighter shade. 
So this might this right here. Alright, there we go. And now to make this part round, we're going to take the rounded rectangle uh, tool again, this time bump the radius up to 10, doesn't really matter. And we're just going to go right here, we're just going to drag this out. So now we have this. Alright, so let's go back to the first layer. Let's right click and hit rasterize layer. Also, make sure this is the length you want. Actually, I forgot to mention that. Let's make sure the lengths are correct before we go on any further. Alright, this is fine. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, let's right click and go to rasterize layer. And also this one, rasterize layer. Now I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool right here. Uh, it is the second tool from the top. And I have this layer selected right here. I'm just going to go across it like this. And I'm just going to hit delete. There we go. So now I just have this shape myself. All right, now for this one, I'm going to go rectangular marquee tool. Let's go over it like this delete and now we just join these two and as you can see we have this very nice shape now let's go for a rectangle tool um the color let's turn fill on and show off this part is pretty simple you just make these little lines right here as you can see we just move them right right here as you can see and copy and paste. Let's take these and let's move them across right here. Right, and now let's put our, our now let's put some text. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So 1%. Undo blue actually. Why not? Here, take the effects on the lips, make the stroke, and add it to the text, all like that. And if you want to add the progress thing, uh, go underneath these two, and also the right singles, make a new layer. And you just want to take your uh, round right angle tool. I'm just going to do something like this. Okay. Change the color. Rasterize the layer. And cut off this part right here. Alright, I'm just gonna duplicate the text. So I can put noob. Right here. Fix the spacing on the text. And we could also um, lower the stroke right here. Alright, just look for a gem icon. Like this. Okay, let's go. Alright, we're gonna paste the same effect. With the stroke, and we're gonna place this icon right here. Rotate it like that. Pretty cool. Move this little text thingy. So it goes right here. And obviously, you just want the same thing for the coin. So, alright, so I'm gonna use an old icon that I've made. Which is this Paul coin? I think there is a tutorial up. I'm not sure, but I think there is. And uh, let's see how it looks. So all three. This is how it looks. 
I think it looks fantastic. Alright, so that is the right side complete. Now let's do the buttons right here and the button on the bottom. Very simple, ellipse tool. Let's go for a new layer. Click and hold right here. Alright, and shift and alt. Drag this out. Let's go grab the color blue right here. Let's right click, paste the layer style that we had done before. Now for the button on the bottom, you just make a copy with one of these, move it down here, control T, to enlarge, and you just change the color to white. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the first part of this series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to see the next parts and for us to complete this UI tutorial series, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.